just a heads up for the start of the video obviously you have your priorities straight ahead i need to give them to you this banner if it's out it'll last for a decent amount of time up until possibly anniversary anyways you don't need to go in straight away even if you want to but on top of that you know anniversary is on the way man if it's mui goku you're going to regret spending your cc's especially if you're not free to play so i just need to make that disclaimer straight away for anybody who's even considering this because they're hyped for the superhero movie but you just need to have your priorities on lock stay focused brothers just if you see me i, I i'm not saying i'm gonna summon uh you, you'll have my opinion at the end of the video but hey if you see consecrated summoning they're in a different position than you nine times out of ten i'm speaking strictly to the free to plays you know what you need to be saving for i didn't want to waste a lot of people's time but of course we're going to go through kit breakdown and i'd give my genuine opinion on them in this video enjoy it man Yes sir, my name is Akashi and in this video here, it is crazy, it's crazy right now because this shouldn't be a should you summon, like I'm genuinely confused, but um, you're gonna have to summon if you want the Gamma's 1's and 2's now because that's what Legend switched up and did which is crazy, they might still give out Z power, they did say they was gonna give out Z power, but there's a banner now so um, I guess this is a should you summon and we're going to be seeing whether they're actually worth the value because I know a lot of people do want these characters um, Gamma 1 and 2 especially because they're hyped for the movie literally going to come out very soon so hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this video if you haven't already make sure to press that subscribe button we are on this grind to 30,000 subscribers all my social media links are on the bottom of the screen and in the description this is the YouTube channel we've got Twitter, Twitch, Reddit, Instagram and a Discord link all in the description below but yeah man, I'm not trying to hold you guys up too long, let's actually get into the video now. So we're going to actually start by going into Gamma 1, he's green and he's a range type, uh, display maximum stats, because of course why not. Uh, stats, defense is looking pretty dope, blast attack is looking pretty dope, carries one of each card but with blast attack he can get blast damage inflicted up. Strike, and blast has anti-blast on 150%, that's a very high number. Especially for a unit that's going to be very new and in the boost tier, that's a big, that's a big, that's a big thing. He's got that very close range blue gamma blaster, um, deals massive impact damage, plus thirty percent to own critical rate for free time accounts, and he has blast arm on it, which is dope. The green card changes strikes to blast, gets thirty key, hundred percent to blast damage to next blast damage. It can't be stacked, but that can happen every single time in the game. As long as you have one, which is actually an insane amount of damage for the first card. So you could kill someone by chaining two blast arts because they come quick, you know. Yeah, you gotta be ready. But he also restores the vanishing gauge by 70% three times and cost goes down, which is pretty dope. Main ability, I'm a superhero. Draw a special move, so that's a blue card. He gets 50 keys, so enough to do it straight away. Blast damage inflicted, 30 time accounts. Increases arts card draw speed by one level for 10 time accounts and plus 70% to own key recovery as well. The Z ability is looking pretty stacked, I'm not even going to lie. Plus 35% to Android's movies, Blast Attack, Strike, Defense, and the extra 15% to Android, to tag Android, wait, ba yeah, just tag Android, base Strike Attack, which is insane. Damn. The first unique Red Ribbon Army Assassin applies the following effects to self when battle starts, plus 70% to damage inflicted cannot be cancelled, reduces damage received, Applies the following effects when he enters the battle, but they gave him they gave him some some chunky piece of writing, bro. <laughs> Draws a special arts card next. Activates twice. Okay. Restores key by 30 and draw speed every time he comes in. That's dope. Um applies the following effects to self if there's a tag Android me member, battle member, uh, other than this party. Uh so you should run him with Androids essentially. Uh, th plus thirty percent of the damage inflicted cannot be cancelled. Uh, key recovery as well; those cannot be cancelled or stacked. Just dope to have to make him a bit stronger. We got one more unique ability: Cutting Edge Android. Uh, the following effects occur every time is when faced with an enemy. Plus thirty percent of the blast damage inflicted for fifteen time accounts. Seals one enemy card slot randomly, uh, which is going to be very annoying depending on what slot it is. But it's random, so 
not going to expect too much from that. But the blast damage inflicted is actually going to be very annoying. The following effects occur when this character uses a blast arts card. 5% on critical rate activate 6 times cannot be cancelled. Inflicts enemy with attribute downgrade plus 50% to damage received 15 time accounts. Uh, the following effects occur when every time this enemy uses a special move arts card while this character is on the battlefield or on standby. So reduce damage received, that's pretty solid. Uh, for 20 for 10 time accounts is 20% though. And restores ally health which activates 3 times. And then effects activate even when this character is defeated. Whoa! Okay, that is very helpful, but the health is only three times. But if you haven't used it, or if the enemy hasn't activated um, any uh, special move arts cards, then it could come in handy, a clutch at the end of the game. You're probably thinking, why did they heal? And you wouldn't even know why. But that's pretty much it for Gamma 1's kit. Um, now that we have the full thing, I'm not too big on his arts card as well. I don't know why they didn't show it in the reveal, but it is what it is. But that's Gamma 1. I'll give my opinion on the end for both of them. Uh, let's go into Gamma 2 now. So we got Gamma 2 here, gonna do the same thing. He's a melee type, display maximum stats. His strike damage is good and the defenses are good as well. Carries one of each card and it's the opposite, so he does 20% to strike damage now. He gets key every strike heart, which is actually gonna come in clutch. They're like That's a very underrated feature, man. Getting key on every card so you don't even have to worry about key is dope. Uh, blast card is normal, blue card, Gamma impact is close range, has blast armor, critical damage inflicted. He could definitely, definitely cause you some harm, I'm not going to lie. So watch out for that one. Green card, Heroic Entrance. Gets a Strike card immediately. Restores on health by 5 and key by 30. Plus 20% to damage inflicted for 15 time accounts. Nullifies on unfavorable elemental factors for 5 time accounts. And seals enemy main ability for 5 time accounts. I don't know how useful sealing it for only 5 time accounts is, but I can imagine it will be very annoying when you need it. So if the enemy uses it well, you don't know when they're going to use it. You could be late game 1v1 and he locks your, your mains. That's tough. That's tough. Especially for me. <laughs> I can imagine I use a lot of like, fusion units. So they always have ultimates. It's going to be crazy. Uh, main ability, I'm a little disappointed. Blue card drawn. 50 key. Shortens ally sub count. Ally sub count reduction is so underrated as well. That is so underrated, man. You can get tap advantage in so many situations. And the enemy can't do anything because of the rotation. Uh... He gets special move damage as well, which is insane, and it can't be cancelled. And critical rate, 25%, which can't be cancelled. He only needs 10 time accounts. Yeah, that's going to be going off for him. Z ability is stacked as well. It's the same thing, but opposite. So he does strike attack and blast defense, and then he gets blast effects if they're just an android. First unique ability, manufactured menace. Applies the following effects to self when battle starts. So it's just some buffs there. 90% damage effect is really high though. Reduces damage received by 40%. Special move is cheaper. Abnormal conditions as well get locked off. The following effects occur when this enemy switches character while this character is on the battlefield. Restores own key by 20. Applies the attribute upgrade minus 30% to enemy sustained damage cut effects. To self for 10 time accounts. Plus 50% to own critical rate 10 time accounts. There's just a lot going on there. Um, inflicts all enemies with attribute downgrade plus 20%. A lot of things going to be happening behind the scenes with this unit and he's going to be quite annoying like I can see that coming into play. Um, you might feel like you're not doing damage and you might feel like he's literally shredding you when he shouldn't be. I'm definitely going to see a lot of strike damage out of this guy I'm pretty sure alongside the boost because they're always featured for PvP. The second unique ability, Mysterious Androids, applies the following effects to self when this character enters the battlefield if there is a tag android battle member other than this character in the party. So damage inflicted. And key recovery, same way with Gamma 1, applies the following effects to self depending on the number of time accounts elapsed from Battlestar while this character is not defeated. So 15 counts, some cost reduction, 30 counts, draw speed, 50 counts, restores health for 40% only for him, 170 counts, so whoa, so if there's only 10 time accounts left, you basically get a rising rush immediately, that is cracked. Not even basically, you do get a rise and rush immediately. What the hell? That's a free kill if you get to that point. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> Damn. As long as he's not defeated though. That, that's, that's new. That is new. But I don't think anybody will get there. But that must be something to do with the movie. Like for real. But yeah, the following effects occur when changing cover. Damage received goes down until combo ends and he draws the enemy card. Wow. Um... 
Yeah, I'm gonna give my opinion now. Um, Gamma 1, Gamma 2, guys, give it up. <laughs> now, in totality, just basing it off the units themselves outside of everything else and other factors that you guys will know, I think they're actually very good. They're very, very good. They're going to be very, very good. Specifically, Gamma 2, I feel like he's going to be much better than Gamma 1. Just because Strike is better. Strike's always better. Like, so much, so better. Um, But honestly, would I say they're worth summoning for? No. And that's only if you don't use Androids or you don't use Movies. I'm thinking about who's on Androids. If we literally change the filter yeah, accordingly so that we can see who's on Androids, you will see um, they're going to fit in place, basically. Look, go to Android. If we look at the greens, besides from so, so we're looking at this guy here as a replica. Uh, you can run the free-to-play unit, but why would you do that? There's Android 16 here, which is a Zenkai buff as well. So... It just makes sense to run him as the best green. It makes so much sense. If we look at the blues, no options, man. You can, you're not, you shouldn't be running this girl. Like you just shouldn't. But obviously, I'm only looking at it like this. There's obviously so many more other options. Um, I'm looking in the wrong place for sagas from the movies, just so I can, so I can show you guys the options that are available as well. Sagas from the movies there. Uh, if we look at the green, you can see literally maybe. I don't know if you want to run this Trunks. I don't see why you would. Uh, this Goku's going to get a Zenkai, so he would be a good position for um, movies buff. Then you also got the Zenkai buff. I believe he buffs uh, movies. Yep, correct there. So, Blue's got... Uh, green's got a bit more options. Blue, you got USG. So, <laughs> you can just slap him on lead and you'll be good. But if you don't have him, then obviously the Gamma would actually fit in and he's strike based as well. But it also depends on what teams you want to run. I'm only looking at the tags. There's leader options and whatnot. So you've got to think about that. If we go into the Gammas, do they have like anything that might be interested? They only have an Android tag. But they are from the movies, obviously, for the superhero movie. But I just don't see them uh, being necessary straight away. You might, you're might, you going to see them a lot in PvP, and that's just a given. And that's simply because of the boost, in my opinion. But one thing settled, the longevity of them, it might change differently. And right now, you should be saving for anniversary anyways. So, I will say they're going to be good. I'm not denying they're going to be good. I'm just saying that there's more things more valuable in the near future. And hopefully they still give out Z-Power because that's crazy. But yeah, that's my opinion in totality. Um, I'm looking to see a lot of interesting things out of them. 100%. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys are going to do. If you haven't already, make sure to press that subscribe button. We're on the screen to 30,000 subscribers. All my social media is at the bottom of the screen in the description too this is the youtube channel we've got a twitter twitch reddit instagram and a discord link all in the description below i'm gonna leave it like, like that guys my name is akashi guys i'll see you guys in the next one Please,